How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're going to be checking out Japan's stinkiest superfood. Yeah. So we have the channel right here. Great big story. As you already know, probably if you've watched the channel, the links to the original video will be in that description section down below. I don't know a lot about Japanese food. I know sushi comes from there. I know they eat a lot of seafood. Um, I know they have a lot of uh, electronics. Yakuza is there and samurais are maybe still there. I don't know if they still do samurais or ninjas or whatever it is, but <laughs> that's about my extent. You know, I know they had a, a real bad earthquake and tsunami recently and Tokyo exists there. The island of Okinawa, stuff like that. But that's that's about what I know about Japan. So anyways, we're going to check out. What is Japan's stinkiest superfood? Let's let's do it. Nippon wo omo yukaberu tabemono toshi wa nani ga aru deshou to iwarimasu. Eh sukiyaki, o sushi, eh ramen. Oh yeah, ramen. I like ramen. Sono gyaku de minus no image to yuka tokuchou de na tabemono toshite iwareru no wa mazu yahari that looks absolutely disgusting. So natto is what it's called, I guess. Watakushonamaiwaですわたくしは納豆を作っております納豆製造会社の三代目です。so it's fermented, which means it's like half rotten? I don't know. I know, uh, um, what's that fish called? There's a fish they eat in Sweden. Surströming, yeah. That's fermented fish, and I seen a video of a guy eating it, and it was like bubbly and sizzly, where like the gases were escaping and bubbling out. Evidently, it's pretty stinky. I wonder if this smells worse than surströming. If anybody knows, let me know. Natto no tanjou no dekishi wa iron na setsu ga aru no desu ga suki na setsu wa ou mukashi no ikusaba no tokoro de ikusa no tabemono toshite. え、移動する際に運ばせている間に馬の体温で米俵の納豆菌が2豆を納豆に変えてしまった。粘れはしているのですが捨てるに氷炉としては持ったいないので、恐る恐る食べてみたら、え、なぜか美味しいと。is that just like the slimy stickiness just making it stick together? The bacteria needed, Bacillus subtilis, naturally exists in nature, and more specifically, in rice straw. In okay. fact, that's how natto used to be made. But today, when companies are making natto, the fermentation bacteria is added to cooked soybeans. So Atsuya decided that he wanted to try making natto the old-fashioned way, using straw. え、普通のえ、田んぼでは農薬とか消毒とか行い納豆菌が少なくなっているかもしれません。納豆の専門店として、え、私どもはやっておりますが、天然の野生の納豆を作るというのも一つ研究対象でないかと思ったわけなのです
How common is it though? And and do the younger generation eat it as well or is it just the old timers, right? I'm honestly intrigued, but the one thing that Atsuya wasn't really able to do was explain what natto tastes like. So I asked my friend Remy from Tokyo, Japan to give me a recipe to try to cook. And that's what I'm gonna do. The toast I wanna talk to you about today is natto tamago toast. You need one slice of toast, one pack of natto, mix it in with all the condiments that it comes with, one hard boiled egg, chopped parsley, a little bit of mayo, and a pinch of salt and pepper. So for those that has never had natto before, um, all I could say is it's a fermented soybean. It's served any time of day in Japan. The flavor of the natto is hard to describe. It's savory, mild savory with a soy sauce flavor with a hint of bitterness. A lot of people who try not though gets put off because the first thing they see is how slimy it is. Yeah, I, uh, I, I don't know if I would try that. I don't know. And the aroma it gives off isn't pleasant. It is definitely an acquired taste. The reason why I like this toast is because the flavor of the natto and the egg is just so harmonious to me and I guess the a little bit of mayo just tops it off. Okay. And plus it's kind oh. of a comfort food and easy food for me to make when I'm lazy. It's a quintessential food of Japan and the egg with the toast, it kind of gives natto another chance because the egg kind of counter offs the smell of the natto but definitely the sliminess is there so i hope you try it out and enjoy it just seems like it's it's like the consistency of snot or something i don't i don't uh i don't know how i feel about that guys <laughs> uh, and if there's any japanese people watching uh first of all congratulations you found the best american react channel ever but second of all I'm not putting down your culture or anything like that. It's just uh, not something that I'm used to seeing being ate by people. So, I mean, the more the merrier for you. I don't know about eating it for me. <laughs> Before I try Remy's dish, I'm just going to try the natto on its own. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Okay. It's like snot. It's stuck to her chin. There's some... The flavor is not that strong, honestly. I feel like it just has this very earthy flavor to it, but it's the kind of that sliminess that's around it that just immediately coats your entire like throat and mouth, even my lips. Wow. Are, like kind of sticking together. Ooh. It just strings all over. The, it just strings down her lip. It's like, it almost makes me feel like I put on lip gloss after I bite into it. It's not as if having the egg salad and the bread counteracts all of those side things from the nut though. It just kind of helps tone down, I think, some of the flavor of it. Well, yeah, mayonnaise... Mayonnaise is a pretty good mellow flavor, but I could definitely see how it could tone down the flavor of things for sure. I would probably, if I did ever try it, it'd probably be like that because I love parsley, I love egg, I love mayonnaise. Toast, of course. It's definitely a, a texture thing to get used to. <laughs> this natto was easy to find just at my local Japanese grocery store. Obviously, it's not made the way Atsuya makes it, the kind of old-fashioned way with the rice grain, but I still was able to give this a go, which I think is worth it. Am I finishing this experience loving natto? Not necessarily, but <laughs> I enjoyed the process of trying it and I'm really happy that I did. This is the third time that we've really looked at an ingredient that might be a little bit misunderstood and learn about it from within that culture. The first was about blood pancakes. The second was fermented. Did that just say blood pancakes? Stood and learn about it from within that culture. The first was about blood pancakes. We like to eat it with bacon to get some extra salt. Where's that from? Where where do they eat blood pancakes at, guys? Do you know where this is from? Let me know down below. The second was fermented mare's milk, and now these soybeans. I'd love to- Fermented mare's milk? Blood pancakes. The second was fermented mare's milk, and now these soybeans. I'd love to know if there are any other foods that you'd like to see us explore. Leave a comment. Until then, enjoy your meals. Sirstroming. Yeah, you should try sir, sir st I can't even. I'm going to hit like. 
you should I I'm not spelling that right. I'm sure of it. I'm just going to leave it like that. It's it's not spelled right, but hey, it is what it is. So, uh if you're new to the channel, please consider uh subscribing. It it's just an awesome thing to do. Um but anyways, Leave a comment. Have you ever tried natto? Would you ever try natto? And is there anything else like uh, grosser out there? Maybe surströming. Which one smells worse, right? But anyways, you guys have a super fun, awesome day, and I will catch you on the next one. All right, take care.